What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators on Superhero Hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel and I wanted to take a second and use the last video of Star Wars Month to kind of introduce and talk about the martial art that had an effect and influence Star Wars lightsaber combat more than nearly any other martial art and that is fencing. Now I got a lot to talk about but first you know what we gotta do, run that intro. Now, just like in all my other What Is Martial Arts videos, um, I'm sorry for how I pronounce these. They're, I'm, I'm just gonna pronounce some things wrong. That's just how it's gonna be. And fencing is, <laughs> is no exception. So just letting you know that ahead of time. Now, modern fencing is a group of three different but very similar styles of martial arts. The foil, the epi, and the saber. Don't worry, I'll go into those in more depth later on in the video. Fencing was one of the first sports to be played in the Olympic Games, where points would be awarded for making contact with your weapon on the opponent. Based on the traditional skills of swordsmanship, the modern sport arose at the end of the 19th century with the Italians having modified the historical European classical fencing martial art to fit this combat sport that we have today. Most competitive fencers choose one of the three branches to specialize in, so most of the higher up competitors won't do all three of the different fencing forms. However, it is not unheard of that people can choose to do that, and people do choose to focus on all three. It's just not very common. Fun fact, competitive fencing is one of the five sports that have been featured in every modern Olympic Games. The other four being athletics, cycling, swimming, and gymnastics. Fencing traces its origin to the development of swordsmanship for duels and self-defense in Spain. Treaties on Arms, written by Diego de Valera in the mid-1400s, is one of the oldest surviving manuals on Western fencing. However, it is unsure when or by who the art was originally created by. The shift towards fencing as a sport over a militarized fighting style happened in the mid 18th century, largely led by, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, Domenico Angelo, who established a fencing academy in London in 1763. At this academy, he taught aristocrats the art of swordsmanship, keeping his school run for three generations of his own family, dominating the art of European fencing for almost a century in total. He also established the essential roles of posture and footwork that still govern modern styles of fencing to this day, although his attacking and parrying methods were much different than what we currently practice. The first regular fencing competition was held at the Royal Agricultural Hall in June 1880, and fencing became an official part of the Olympic Games 16 years later in the summer of 1896. Each of the three styles of modern fencing have its own weapon and strategies that go along with it. The foil is a light thrusting weapon with a maximum weight of 500 grams. The foil targets the torso but not the arms or legs. The foil also has a small circular handguard that serves to protect the hand from direct stabs. Considering the hand is not a valid target in foil, this is primarily for safety of the practitioner. Slices with this weapon do not count, making stabbing motions the only valid form of scoring points during a match. Epi is a thrusting weapon similar to the foil but much heavier, with a maximum total weight of 775 grams. In Epi, the entire body is a valid target for scoring points, however like foil, the only stabbing motions will score points. The Saber is a light cutting and thrusting weapon that targets the entire body above the belt with the exception of the hands. Saber is the newest weapon to be used. Like the foil, the maximum weight of the saber is 500 grams. The handguard on the saber extends from the hilt to the point at which the blade connects to the pommel. This guard is generally turned outward during the support to protect the sword arm from touches. There are many famous and notable practitioners of fencing due to it being so popular. Some of these fencers include Angelina Jolie,
Mark Zuckerberg. No! Will Smith. Your mama. <laughs> mama said knock you out. <laughs> Tom Cruise. Remember, you wanted this. It's okay. You're okay. Get up. Oh! Paul Rudd. <laughs> oh, you okay? Did I hurt you? And lastly, Eduardo Mangarotti. I really, I really hope I pronounced that somewhat right. But he is the best fencing athlete of all time, having a, having a total of 13 Olympic medals to his name, with six of them being gold and five being silver. That is truly impressive. Guys, if you have any questions over this art or other arts, definitely let me know down in the comments. If you have a particular style you're wanting to know more about, uh, let me know because I can definitely do a video about it soon. I am always taking suggestions from you guys. Um, just so you guys know, we're still doing a giveaway, uh, both on my Instagram and on YouTube for two Karambit knives. And if you can't have knives, I will work out something else with you privately. But that will be released. Uh, and the winners will be announced as soon as I hit 25,000 subscribers So if you want to get into that giveaway if you want to get yourself entered definitely check out the link below All you have to do is like this or not the link below check out the information below But basically all you have to do is comment on this video and leave a like uh, And then you will be entered every comment is an entry So if you want to comment on every video from now until I hit 25,000 subscribers, you 100% can and you will have all of those entries into uh, the giveaway. And lastly, if you like this shirt, it's from my boys at I'm a Ninja. If you're interested in getting one your own, definitely check out the link down in the description. I'm not sponsored by them. They're not paying me to mention their stuff. I just really enjoy uh, their shirts. Their shirts are really good quality. Their drawings and artwork are awesome. And I sh you should definitely check that out if you wish. But with all that said, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and hit that bell so you get notified when I post next. But until then, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.